They were selected as 12 to go into battle on the challenge season 3. The prize? A life-changing full-board postgraduate scholarship in two top universities in the UK, the University of Westminster in London and the Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen, Scotland. Seven grueling weeks of task and evictions passed, leaving five to go into the grand finale, to battle for what many have come to call Ghana's biggest prize on TV. Two winners were selected on the night. Going to the University of Westminster is Amponsa. As on to dance. Come on. As on to dance. Uh -huh. You know, as on to dance. Okay. Now, who's going to argue you? I see the banner out there. It says you're a genius. Now. Congratulations. Come on. As on to dance. With some of the greatest tertiary institutions in the world, a UK education is definitely a must-have. Educational institutions in the country have earned a well-deserved reputation for high levels of quality and high standards of teaching. Settling into the University of Westminster for Eric Frimpong Amponsa was not only a thing of joy, but a dream come true. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. Once again, welcome to London. As you can see, this is where I sleep. Um, this is my room. Um, this is my bed. Um, you've seen me this morning going to the bathroom, brushing my teeth and everything, getting ready for lectures. Let me just show you some of the things that I've been reading. This is my study desk. Um, I'm doing a module this semester called Consumer Behavior. So this is my book. Um, there's another one I'm doing. Strategic Marketing Management. This is my book as well. And I wasn't really sure what they worship here, so I brought my God with me. <laughs> so this is my locker. Um, no, I will not show you the contents just yet. I'll show you at the time. And occasionally, I get roommates, so when they come, they sleep here. Uh, but right now, ooh, it's time for lectures, so see you in my lecture. The City of London, 
also known as the Square Mile, is predominantly the financial center of Britain and geographically a very small area bustling with a great deal of activity in the working week. Today, the Greater London Administrative Area comprises the City of London and 32 London boroughs including the City of Westminster, which of course houses the University of Westminster. Lisbeth Day is with the International Office. Well, the University of Westminster is um, really a practical university. The skills and the courses that are taught have a real focus on gaining experience in the work market. We're a central London university with campuses across central London and a large international community of students. We have um, a lot of Ghanaian students, we have a lot of students from many nations across the world and it really is a multicultural environment to gain the skills and the knowledge that you need in order to progress in, in your home country, in this case Ghana. Now we have Eric with us who's the winner of um, season three and um, previously we have hosted um, Jojo and then Joseph in season two and um, each year of the challenge we've gone out and um, represented from Westminster have met with the, the um, potential candidates and really it's um we've been involved right from the start it's something that's very important um, for us and the students that we've had have gone on to do very well as you already know with a clear knowledge of what's expected of him Eric's approach to every lecture can best be described as diligent and we've been fortunate to have two uh, students on scholarship who won the on a challenge in previous years. First of all, there was uh, Jojo, and this year we, we have Eric. Uh, Eric has joined the January Start, which has around about 40 students on it. The course covers um, communications in the form of advertising management, research, public relations, sales promotion, direct marketing, uh, campaign planning, consumer behaviour and has proven to be very successful with students from all over the world and is probably the most popular course that we have in the business school. What I know about Eric is that he is a very friendly person, he's very creative, he's a good advisor for me. In any times I had problems, he's always there to help me. And uh, he's very punctual. He never comes late to class and he will never come late to meeting as well. And moreover, he's a very straightforward person and on the other way around, he is very nice. A day never ends for Eric as lectures are followed by hours of research and study group discussions with some of the most culturally diverse group of people from across the world, all studying at the University of Westminster. I've been in Eric's group uh, in uh, advertising management. And I've been in all his classes and uh, he's been a great guy with me. I, know, I have known him since the induction week and uh, we have been working in three different groups and uh, he's been a nice bloke to me and he works hard, he goes out like parties at times but uh, otherwise <clears throat> everything else is good about him. Eric is an amazing guy, a great guy, very fun to hang out with, he laughs all the time with me, very cheerful person, he's great at his work. Very focused on work sometimes. He should get a bit, you know, he should have a few drinks just to relax himself down. Every day he's really, really in a good mood. And he takes this studying really seriously, despite of, and he's keeping us all positive every day. But the City of London isn't all about education. Indeed, as pulled from the university's website, is the London Stock Exchange and the city, the palace and parliament, and every type of performance art imaginable. Is the bustling shopping streets and the West End, the tranquil parks and the squares, and the centuries of study and culture in the libraries and museums. It is where tradition meets cutting edge, underground collides with mainstream, and it offers the ideal environment for living and learning. London is this and more, and as a Westminster student, it's all in Eric's campus, just like a lounge in the Regent Park. This is my life in London, and I want to say very, a very big thank you to all those who have made it possible. I want to say thank you to the British Council, um, to GH1. I want to say big, big, big thank you to Tigo, and also to the University of Westminster for this opportunity. I want to say a big thank you to every single person who voted for me. May God bless you. I want to say thank you to my parents, 
for their support and all my friends for their support during the challenge. So to the next set of students who want to take part in the challenge, I want to assure you that it's going to be a hard and a long journey, but in the end, it will be worth it. From the University of Westminster, my name is Eric Frimpo Amponsa, and this has been The Challenge. Also known as the Granite City, the Grey City or the Silver City with the Golden Sands, Aberdeen is Scotland's third most popular city and the 29th most populous in the United Kingdom. With an official population estimate of 218,000, Aberdeen is the oil capital of Europe, a nickname enjoyed since the discovery of the Nazi oil in the 1970s. Literally translated as between the dawn and the day, Aberdeen's two bordering rivers create a beautifully Scottish backdrop to this historic and culturally rich city with wildlife, nature, sport and adventure. In all its beauty, serenity and style lies one of the world's greatest universities of all time, the Robert Gordon University. We're one of Scotland's leading universities and have been in existence for, uh, for some considerable time, but a university in its present form since 1992. And since then we've been recognised in rankings and league tables as one of the leading universities with strengths in a number of areas including science and technology, uh, art, design and fashion, but also with a very major business school. The Robert Gordon University is home to Na, second winner of the Challenge Season 3, and as part of her scholarship, Na lives here in this three-bedroom apartment with two other housemates. When I first arrived in Aberdeen, I was very skeptical about the cold, and so I really blanketed myself very well in the aeroplane before I got off. And um, I was met at the airports by a very nice lady called Julie Dayton from Robert Gordon University. She works with the international office. So she met me at the airport. She helped me with my baggage. She showed me around town and then she drove me to the house. Also, she was able to get me a few nice um, um, furnishings for my room, which I'm very appreciative of. Um, my typical life in Robert Gordon University is, um, it starts with a quiet time in the morning and follows with uh, me checking my mails, my student mail um, inbox. And then I also go to our virtual learning center, which we call the Campus Moodle, to find out the latest updates on lectures, seminars, tutorials, things like that. And then I go off to the library to do some reading ahead of class, because most of my lectures are after 12 noon in the afternoon. So I do some reading in the morning. And then I go for my lectures. But basically now she's a very committed young lady. We, at least I, I believe that I know her up to an extent now. And she's really committed to her schoolwork. We hardly ever talk about any other thing apart from school and food. I don't know, maybe sometimes I just think Ghanaian people, I think generally they are good people. Because now has really shown me care. She, She's always there for me, she comforts me, she encouraged me to read my book, you know. She's, she's a very good person, I must confess. She's a God-fearing woman. So like, she's everything, she has everything a good man wants in a baby. Na is a very intelligent person and she has come to bring a lot of light and life to most of the Ghanaians here because we are really few in number. She contributes um, regularly in class and, and on the social aspect too, she's a very amicable person. So seeing another Ghanaian here in this school, in this city is, is really amazing. She's just a female too, she tends to you know, take good care of some of us around. Fill me up and spill over so class is in session. Let's see what else Robert Gordon has to offer. Here, Julie Dayton, regional manager of the international office. Okay, now that Na is busy, I thought I'd show you some of the other facilities that we have here at Robert Gordon University. First of all, we have the RGU Career Centre, which is a free service for all students. So when you come here, if you want to look for a part-time job, they will help you with those opportunities. 
And equally, if you want to stay on and work once you finish um, studying here at RGU, they will help you with that. Next to that, we have the Info Zone. If you do come to Robert Gordon University, this is where you'll first be met when you begin your enrolment in the university. Here they will answer any question that you can possibly think of or point you in the right direction of where you would go. Um, again, it's a free service and they're here for you for all day on the middle of the campus. Um, other than that, we have the sports facility, so I'll leave it up to you to have a look at that. Welcome to RGU Sport of the Robert Gordon University based in the Garthy campus. My name is Neil Brown, I'm the Sports Programs Manager here and what I'm going to do is show you around the facilities and give you as much information as possible to allow you to enjoy your student experience at the university. Memberships here provide access to the gym, the swimming pool and exercise classes and we provide other facilities like climbing wall and sports hall activities to allow you to enjoy your time at the university. Behind me is Robert Gordon's Business School and this is where Naz is currently studying international business. This is our largest school in the, in the campus and it's home to all of our different master's programs, anything from the MBA all the way through to the business curriculum. All of our oil and gas programs such as oil and gas accounting, oil and gas management are all based here. There's two programs I ought to argue that's probably of interest to you in terms of energy and oil and gas management. We have the MBA oil and gas management and we have the MSc energy management. Uh, these two programs quite different. The MBA oil and gas management is aimed at managers uh, in the upstream oil and gas industry. The MSc Energy Management is aimed at um, new entrants into oil and gas, so that may be of particular interest to, to those in Ghana, given you've got uh, a new oil and gas industry emerging there. Currently on the programme, we have quite a number of uh, Ghanaian students studying with us, and they, they, they're enjoying the programme, seem to be doing well, and they're looking forward to developing their career further in uh, oil and gas. Robert Gordon University is home to all from all parts of the world and even beyond now, the number of Ghanaian students taking various courses here, especially in oil and gas, makes it a lot homier for our winner. Robert Gordon University was voted the best modern university in the UK in 2011 and in 2012 it's also the best modern university in the UK. Um, the mode of learning here is very practical, unlike a typical academic setting where you make reference to books and you limit yourself so much. Here, the learning is case study based, scenario based, and not only are you supposed to do research, but you're supposed to interpret what you are researching, and that makes the learning very relevant. It's a very nice and serene uh, environment where you have very wonderful uh, people to meet and to chat with. Aside that, they have um, other facilities such as the library and the career service that offers career advice to students most often and basically that's a record university for you. Aberdeen is the center of European oil and LGU is very repeatable in terms of delivering courses related to oil and gas accounting. The lecturers at the Robert Gordon University, they are very helpful in terms of academics. They are always willing to give their maximum support to their students to give out the best. Currently, we've got about 6,000 international students from 95 different nationalities. Basically, what we try to do is ensure that even though you're leaving your country, you come and receive global and international education, learning from different cultures, like we've got Scottish students, we've got Irish, Africans, Asians, who come together and ensure that different students learn the different cultures of the world. NAS leisure at the Robert Gordon University could be described variously. Researching at the ultra-modern, ultra-unique and well-stocked state-of-the-art library, lounging in the park with friends, or getting her voice heard across the world on the school's radio station. Good day. We apologize for the late start in the news today. It was due to technical difficulties beyond our control. My name is Na Ayile Komi. Today in the headlines, RTU student election ends today. And worldwide condemnation of Amigo. We're not on air, in class or at the library, however, now goes shopping at the city mall in Aberdeen. For me, the challenge over its weeks really tested your contestants. 
and we're delighted to have Na here as a winner. She has been a great ambassador for the university here and has fitted in with her classmates here studying. We look forward to a long and successful relationship with Ghana, with the people of Ghana, and next year, Robert Gorn University will once again be sponsoring the event. So we look forward to seeing you again then. The opportunity couldn't be better. The challenge is definitely Ghana's biggest prize on TV. And once again, the call is on. Tigo presents The Challenge Season 4. The race to the top in Ghana's biggest prize on TV calls again. With a full board postgraduate scholarship from Europe's most respected university, the Robert Gordon in Aberdeen, Scotland, and a lot more. Interested? Text your name now to Tigo 6012 if you have a second class upper or better university degree. Visit www.thechallengeghana.com for more details and get set for a dream educational experience. The Challenge is a British Council Ghana initiative supported by the Robert Gordon University, Data Bank, Age Capital, EPP Book Services, our media partners, produced by GH1 and proudly presented by Tigo. Tigo, express yourself. The Challenge. Amy Challenger.